Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to enable users to upload files anonymously through what we call drop zones. A drop zone is typically used when you want to receive files from one or more individuals but don't want to create an account for them. Users can create a drop zone by entering an URL in their web browser. Once the drop zone loads, the user simply adds the file or files he wants to upload into the box and then clicks the upload button. If the upload succeeds, a notice will appear indicating it did. Only the user to whom this drop zone is mapped to can view the files uploaded to this particular drop zone. Let's say for example that drop zone we just saw was mapped to a user whose username is John V. If John V wants to see those files, he simply logs into his user account and then navigates into the drop zone's designated virtual path or folder. Let me now show you how to create a drop zone. To create a drop zone, log into the Jscape MFT server manager. Navigate into a domain and go to the drop zones menu. Click the add button to add a new drop zone. Give the drop zone a name. Specify the virtual path to which files uploaded to this drop zone will be stored. As we showed you earlier, this is the virtual path the user assigned to this drop zone will see upon logging in to his account. Take note of the relative URL for this drop zone. We highlighted this URL earlier in the video so you can review that part now to see where you're supposed to use it. Once you're done, click OK. That's it. You're now ready to create your own drop zones. <laughs> 